My name's Graham and I'm at Rimmers Music here in Bolton and today we are really excited because we've just got in stock the fabulous Yamaha CLP 785. So that's the Clavinova uh, CLP 785. CLP actually stands for Clavinova Piano if you didn't already know. Uh, and this is um, the top of the range. After this there's one called a CLP 795 that's in like a baby grand style looking cabinet. Uh, but in terms of the CLP range, this is the very top model. We've literally just got it out of its box. I've just had a quick go before um, I'm doing this video, and my goodness, it's good. Um, so let's start with the cabinet design. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's got nice chrome finishes with the Yamaha. It's got three chrome pedals. It's got a nice slow fall lid like this. Lovely. It's designed to look like... Um, like an upright piano so it's giving you that upright piano look but in a slightly smaller cabinet so it can fit into more homes and maybe better spaces and um, it's got a fantastic speaker three-way speaker system in it now with bass mid and treble that's all balanced fantastically and actually some of the speakers are, are made out of spruce wood which gives a far better resonance so you get basically a really superb speaker system inside here the keys are wooden it's got um an absolutely beautiful grand touch key action and um, it just it just makes you want to play actually really responsive and it's absolutely it just feels brilliant over here you've got a, a screen and um, it's a bit like a mobile phone looking thing this all touch and you can uh, either have it on all the time or you can have it where it goes off uh, after a few seconds after you've touched it that's how i've got it set at the moment um, and that's where you select all your sounds and everything that it'll do. But let's start with the, the, the piano sound, which is one of over 500 sounds this piano has. Um, but it has the very best samples in it. So what it's got is the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand Piano in here. That's a piano that's over a, £130,000. They've recorded the, the, the sound and the technology for it inside here. And it's absolutely brilliant. And it sounds like this. It's a phenomenal sound. But Yamaha also own another elite piano manufacturer called Boysendorfer. So what they've done is sampled some of those sounds as well and put them in sound here. So what I've got here is a Boysendorfer um, Imperial. Uh, and that's just, it's just a different sound, but it, oh, it's great. It sounds like this. VRM, virtual, I can't say it, virtual resonance modeling. Oh, what, what does that? What does that mean? Well, they're basically when you're playing a normal acoustic piano, that um, you basically press a key down, it releases what's called a damper off the string. The hammer hits the string, and then that allows those string or strings to resonate. And um, when you have the sustain pedal down, what it does, it takes the dampers off all the strings. And then when you press a key down, those string, that string resonates, or the string resonates that the hammer's hitting, but also other strings resonate in what they're called sympathetic resonance. Um, and it, they're like subtleties that maybe you don't think you hear, but you do hear them. And this piano uh, models all that, and basically, um, as you're pressing different notes, it will resonate in different ways to give you that uh, sympathetic resonance. But probably the best way to show you, I'll just take the keys at the top end and just listen to this. So listen to this. Can you hear that? I'll do it again. You can hear it. Other strings, it's it's like a, a real upright acoustic piano. Other strings resonate in sympathy with the notes that I've just um, that I've just pressed. So what happens is as you're playing, all those subtle harmonics come in as you're playing and it just adds a real extra realism to your sound. And it, it just sounds brilliant. <laughs> Lots 
lots of other sounds on here as well. So if I go to um, a thing called Forte Piano, and now what they've done here is they've somehow found Mozart's piano and Chopin's piano, or at least the pianos they might have played when they were composing the pianos, and they've put those piano sounds in here so you can play as if you're that composer in that era playing those pianos. Uh, now I don't know any, any tunes, but I'll show you what the sound sounds like. This is the Mozart one. It's a bit like, uh, it's like a harpsichord, isn't it? But that, it, that's how it must have been then, because it's in here and it gives you just a bit of history, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but there's other voices in here, so if I go to say, um, Electric piano, you get this. Or we can go to others, such as um, an organ sound. And it sets all the reverb and everything, as it will be, say, in a cathedral or a hall or whatever it thinks is appropriate for the sound you're playing. But that's totally um, up to you how you change that. You can make it into it any way that you like. Yeah, you can get other sounds like this, like nice strings. I like this one. But you can also dual sounds together. So for example, I could put piano and strings. down here and you can have a piano up here so you could play like this great um you can also have a metronome on uh, to keep you in time which is your normal like you know well, I'll show you. Yeah. You can have the bell on uh, or not, it's up to you. But it's also got some rhythms built in as well, which is great. So if you want to play along with a drummer, um, you can. And what it'll do is it'll add um, a bass line in as well. So every time I press three notes, it'll sort of recognise the chord that I'm doing and it'll play a bass. Well, I'll show you. So if I press that rhythm on like this, and then I press a chord. <laughs> It's also got Bluetooth, it's got Bluetooth MIDI, so you can play your um, your music through it and it'll play backing tracks and things like that. You can do audio recording on it. It's just an absolutely fabulous, fabulous piano. So it looks fantastic, it plays brilliantly, it gives you loads of these extra features that you wouldn't normally get. You can play it on headphones and play silently and it's got a thing called binaural technology in and what that does, it gives you basically like a, a surround sound effect when you've got your headphones on. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just finish off with a little piece on the, the piano. Hopefully you've liked my short demo. And, uh, oh, it's actually turned into a longer demo. <laughs> but, but I'm so excited about this piano. Honestly, I can't tell you how good it feels to play. The key action is just fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to stay
stem for a while. You can have half the stem and part of the stem as well, which is just brilliant. So hopefully you've liked my um, short, well, maybe longer demonstration than I would have done. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I really do hope you get one, because uh, I think you'll love it. And thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.